Hi guys, welcome to Joe's RC Corner and today we're going to get started finally on the Zenith Cruiser and today we're going to start with uh, basically we're starting with the bottom skin of the of the rear section of the fuselage and uh, what we're going to be doing first is uh, we're going to start deburring. We have to deburr all the holes on the panel here and uh, to get that prepped and uh, I think I'm going to follow along with what Mark uh, does on uh, uh, Kit Plane Enthusiasts. Check out his channel. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, he is just doing the primer on the fuselage parts where uh, the metals touch. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that on the fuselage. Uh, and I'll probably continue to do that on, you know, throughout the rest of the build as well. And what I'm going to be using for that is, uh, have it over here. I'm going to be using the uh, Krylon, uh, I'm sorry, not Krylon, Rust-Oleum um, primer. It's the self-etching primer. Uh, he, uh, he uses that as well. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive. I think I paid like $6 a can for these. Um, but uh, I, I, I haven't been able to find it at the same price except for maybe at a local place uh, recently. But uh, I'm going to keep an eye out for it on Amazon uh, as well to see if I can get it at a decent price because uh, I only was able to get three cans at this price. Uh, the rest of them were all showing like 12, 13, 14, even $20 for a can, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, most of it's gonna be time-lapse because it's just a build log, but uh, I wanna make sure that you guys uh, can follow along and uh, we'll keep moving. So first things first, let's start deburring. Okay guys, so really quick, I did want to come back to you and uh, just update you a little bit here on some of the parts that I've gotten Clico together so far. Uh, now this is a little bit different than what's in the book. Uh, these parts are all match drilled now um, and uh, originally they weren't and we had to cut all these and then drill them and then all that fun stuff. But the kit has come a long ways uh, and they're now match drilled which is great because the parts are already pre-cut, uh, drilled and ready to go. But one of the things that I wanted you guys to uh, take a look at, because this is important, these these two pieces right here, which are in the book, uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not, but these little pieces here, it's F, a 75 F19-3, 
There is a left and a right, so pay attention to the left and right on that. Uh, the difference really is, if you, I'm not sure if it'll pick it up, but you see that hole on this side is bigger than the hole on the end of this side. And the reason for that is it uses a larger rivet along the longer ons uh, where the two sheets join together for the side panels. So just pay, pay attention to that. Make sure you have them on the right side when you clico them or rivet them in place. And that'll strengthen this whole area up. Other thing to pay attention to, make sure that you have the skin uh, right side up, is if you see here on the right side of the aircraft, there is a set of drilled holes over here. Now these holes over here are actually designed for the flap, uh, I believe it's called the flap, it's the flap controller, the servo, the linear servo. So let's go ahead and we'll open up here and I'll show you on here. You'll see, and maybe I'll put this page on the, uh, the screen here, but you'll see here there's a set of holes right along this area right here. And basically what it tells you to do is that the uh, orientation, to make sure you have the correct orientation, the bottom skin has, to be, uh, has been pre-drilled for the linear actuator mount, which is for the flaps. Uh, these holes should be on the right side of the aircraft. Okay, so make sure that you do make sure uh, make sure that you do have that in the correct location. Uh, so as you can see, I do. It's on the right side over there, and uh, we're going to continue Clico in these parts in place. Um, I've already started a little bit of the priming uh, on some parts that I know are done. Uh, so here you can see uh, these are the um, strengthening corner pieces here. Um, and we are going to, um, we are going to also um, prime this area before these get uh, riveted in place like so. Uh, so that way that's all. And then same with all of this, we're, we're going to prime this piece as well. Um, we're going to prime this whole area here because this area here is where I'm going to be able to come up inside here and uh, you know, mess with the fuel tank, the, the header tank for the Viking engine, if that's the engine I go with, there's gonna be a header tank up here. Uh, also maybe some avionic pieces, because this is closer to the center of gravity of the aircraft. All of that is then back here towards the back. Now the other part that I did already prime is the tail piece here. And the reason for that is there's gonna be a lot of uh, other parts attached to this, the steel part. Uh, for the uh, tail, tail tie down and uh, just wanted to go ahead and get that uh, primed in so that way we're ready to go. But other than that, uh, yeah, all the rest of these are going to be uh, uh, primed as well, uh, just where they attach.
All right, guys, so welcome back. Uh, I'm sorry my, uh, <laughs> my time-lapse camera stopped working uh, while I was uh, working on that, uh, so I apologize. There might be some missed uh, uh, video here. Uh, but I want to kind of go over what I got accomplished today. Uh, today is only Saturday, the first day of the weekend, so I still have tomorrow uh, to go ahead and get a little bit more work done on this, and I'm hoping to get some more work on it tomorrow. Uh, I also went ahead and did a little bit of work on my bench, too, uh, once, uh, uh, once the, the items I ordered came in. Uh, to work on this a little bit. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch the camera around and uh, kind of show you uh, what we got accomplished and then uh, go from there. So uh, stay tuned guys. All right guys, so now that we have the camera turned around, I want to go you what we got accomplished here. Uh, so as you can see, we're all cleaned up now uh, for the day. Um, but uh, I wanted to show you, I did buy these uh, carpet tiles on Amazon. They're self-sticking uh, carpet tiles. And I went ahead and I lined my bench uh, with them, I was a little bit short, uh, so I have a few more I have to get on order. Uh, we'll get those and, and get those uh, put down all the way at the end down there as soon as I get them. But in the meantime, uh, this worked out really nice, the bench, that is. I was able to get a lot done today. So as you can see, there are still a few Clecos in there. I didn't get all of the uh, rivets in place, uh, but as you can see, we have uh, most of the bottom structure kind of put together here. Um, got the, uh, I have the nut plates in place uh, for the bottom access panel, uh, which is going to go ahead and, and fit in this area here. Um, as you can see, I did uh, do a little bit of priming on the parts where they mate together. Uh, that's pretty much the only spots that I'm going to be, how I'm going to be doing the priming is just do it where they mate, uh, where the two pieces of metal meet together. Uh, so that's all been done. Uh, the skin, for the most part, is open, uh, not primed, but like I said, it is primed uh, where this meets uh, on there. So that looks really good. We've got the longer ons mounted as well. I left all of this open because I wasn't sure how this mounts to the front half of the fuselage yet, so I didn't want to get all of this riveted in place and then have to take them out. So went ahead and left those out. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's all done. Uh, the holes that are over here are specifically for the um, linear actuator that's gonna go there, and that's for the flaps, uh, to actuate the flapperons. Um, I did, um, looking at this section here, I did, uh, the longer ons are also all primed with the uh, Rust-Oleum self etching primer. So those look really good. Let me get this set back down nicely without knocking anything over now. Stand by, guys. Okay, so like I said, uh, then those longer ons are over here are for the top portion of it. So um, I'm gonna finish up getting most of these uh, riveted in place tomorrow, and maybe I'll start working on some of the uh, side panels um, on the fuselage. So that'll be the next steps. Um, everything else is working really good. So, that's all we have for today, guys. So that's all we have for today. And if you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, don't forget the notification bell so you get notified when the next uh, video drops uh, regarding the Zenith Cruiser build here on Joe's RC Corner. So, thank you again, guys. Keep building, keep flying. I'll see you next time.